another nice day here in Carnarvon. Time to get another bit of exercise. Yesterday was good, bit of swimming, bit of walking. Today we're going to get the bikes going. So we're going to head down and have a look at this one mile jetty and the uh, there's a tram line walk and things. And um, yeah, have a nice uh, day with a bit of exercise on the bike. Here we go. One of the many uh, fabulous fruits grown in Carnarvon, the banana. The Carnarvon banana. My goal is to get this one here, tick, and the next one's over in Coffs Harbour. Tick, tick. We'll see it soon. No, we'll see it in a while. It's the other side. All right, onwards on our bike journey. Good score. It's one massive wagon. Which that had a hell of a workout over the time. And here we go, give you an idea of where we are. In Carnarvon, I would say, there we go, we're way over here. Um, so we biked, we biked out this way and the idea is that we hope to follow um, this trail back into town that way. So uh, there's a few little things to do on the big map of Carnarvon. Hope to obviously pop up and have a look at the uh, Space Centre, maybe later this afternoon. And uh, so over here is the museum, uh, the lighthouse, the keepers. Wow, some old relics in there. There's a few interesting facts here. Carnarvon was the first port in the world to load livestock on board ships for transport to markets. One mile jetty once boasted a livestock race the length of the jetty. Sheep were, driven along, sheep were driven along the race from holding yards that were located just north of the water tower that stands at the Heritage Precinct. And there's the water tower there, looking a little worse for wear, but from here all the way um, along one mile jetty they would uh, herd all the sheep. The transport, the jetty transport system and diesel locos on the tramway ceased in 1966 when state ship State ships stopped call, calling at uh, Carnarvon. Road trade and transport commenced and the jetty began to fall to disrepair until 1998 when the community banded together to save the longest jetty in the north of the state. Jetty now listed on the State National Heritage Register. Here we go at the calf at um, the one mile jetty. Can you imagine this yes. as the sun goes down? Apparently it's a really good sun, sunset spot. The poor old jetty looking at a bit of bit of state of disrepair. It definitely needs some TLC. But uh, this is uh, the Gascoigne River I believe making its way out into the Indian Ocean and it's absolutely gorgeous what a day what a day yep, the sun would be disappearing out over there somewhere I'd say Whew. yep dummy bike ride which you and I have done our bike ride I'm gonna treat out here at the uh, one mile jetty. What a spot. Look at that. Sitting out here with absolutely gorgeous views. Very nice. Just gotta get a smoothie and maybe some Logan fries.
righty, good little um, good little ride from the uh, little cafeteria there at the One Mile Jetty. Um, that was, I think, Babbage Island, and uh, we've just cycled. Uh, well, there's a Whitlock's Island. It's part of the Gascoigne River Delta. The Gascoigne River catchment starts around about 650 kilometres inland near Mikathara, which we're heading that way, and uh, drains eight million hectares of land because the river is typically flows only once or twice a year its bed is usually dry the flow tends to come um, with cyclonic rainfalls in the summer and winter full flood the river channel may swell to more than a kilometer in width tidal currents and wind also contribute in the, dip, the, the, the deposition of sediment uh, after periods of flooding, the beach is red and muddy, scattered with logs, branches, many of which have been carried by the river as far as the Gascoigne Junction, 160 kilometres inland. So yeah, I don't know whether the rail track went across this bridge, I think it did. Um, but uh, yeah, from the one mile jetty into town. What a great little cycle road it was. And. Uh, Go across the jetty and uh, I think we're going to hook a right and have a look along the uh, wolf area there. things here in uh, 1896 some flooding has uh, caused some severe damage to the waterfront along here in uh, Olivia Terrace led to um, some construction of the riverbank protection protection it consisted of a, a barrier of tim timber stakes 18 feet long by 9 inches in diameter being driven into the riverbank and then the back of the area was infilled with coarse sand and gravel and uh, they used wicker baskets in a technique called fascine, it's a French word. So, yeah, a lot of hard work there. And then the tramway was uh, built to connect the town of Carnarvon to One Mile Jetty, uh, 1897, under the supervision of an engineer, Leslie Price. The railway line ran from Elders and Dolgetti's premises on uh, Carmel Lane through the goods yard out at Olivia Terrace, immediately over the Fascine Wall over the south arm the Gascoigne River on the tramway bridge across to Babbage Island and out to one mile jetty to the ships. And then the other interesting fact here, the HMAS Sydney 2 in 1941 um, had a, a battle between another ship. Um, the Sydney lost 645 men. Both ships were lost and for quite a few years finally ended in 2008 with both ships being found off the coast of um, Dirt Hog Island at a depth of 2,000 metres. A lot of history and a very nice windy spot at the moment. Apologise for the wind. Down at the end of the street of Canal. Still got some way to go. It's beating down my soul Never ending race I feel that fire burn With every twist and turn Feel the shake And when the sun goes down All the stars will shine I will stand wherever I am
between my dreams Running high on steam Through the night This is a pretty cool view I think it was the OTC Satellite Receiver cool. It's pretty amazing to be underneath this thing, it's big Carnarvon Space Museum. Awesome. It's just been sitting at our doorstep just down there. And finally, after four days, been able to get up the hill here to go and have a look. Ooh. So we've just been able to get up the hill here to go and have a look. So without further ado, I'll jump inside. So here we are inside the centre. I don't really show, I think it's in there, in the space capsule that we can jump into. Yeah, lots to see and do. Run an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. We don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. Trust you, Jude, all this technology in this place, and you have to find a spacey's machine. Cheap as creepers. See Buzz the space cat at the Carnarvon Centre. He enjoys bats. There we go, top of the hill at Carnarvon. Best vantage point, obviously, for the OTC transmitter. Well, actually, receiver, wasn't it? Um, what a view here at Carnarvon. Look at that. Terrific. Out there, uh, I think dead over that way was where we were with the uh, the jetty. And swing back around here. We have we never even really went out back and saw the, the rocket there and we got the, the big disc over there. And this one over here I learned was a sugar scoop, they call it. The it just looks like a sugar scoop. And that was used for early um, receiving satellite TV. Yep. So yeah, I learned I learned a lot. If I can retain a bit of it. The, oh, we'll zoom in over there, Jude, with the, the Carnarvon Space Center. And te Space and Technology Museum. <laughs> Our last day at Carnarvon. We uh, drive out tomorrow. And what do you know? A market. Good old, bon bon good old bonus for Judy here. She's in her element again, she loves her markets and uh, must admit there's some lovely uh, breakfasts, pancakes, um, goat pies and uh, well, some great produce, some um, strawberries and some uh, ruby grapefruit and uh, plenty of um, vegetables as well. So a nice way to just uh, do this, fuel up, 
Gas up, ready for an early departure tomorrow. Lovely markets. I managed to get a haul of strawberries, oranges, what's that, papaya is it? And some goat, in which uh, we just love goat and followed by a goat pie. Good markets. Well, well, here we are. Unbelievable, we did five days here and it was worth every day. We had a bit of rest and relaxation, a few chores, and uh, then of course a few of the old little visiting the tourist spots. Awesome. One of the best ones there was uh, the old uh, Carnarvon uh, Space Museum. Highly recommended. And uh, this park was pretty damn good too. The old Capricorn um, Carnarvon. Um, plenty of room and good low cow as well. So we're heading south, not too sure where, how far, but uh, I'm, I'm going to go probably down to uh, Shark Bay area, kind of go and have a look at Shelly Beach, Shell Beach, and I uh, don't want to get into the, too much of the touristy stuff, um, and then from there we'll tootle on down um, Kalbarri. Um, I've kind of like under, underestimated uh, the kind of distance and size and things to see, so I'm going to be pushing myself a little bit, but uh, five days, six nights, and then um, Geraldton. So follow us for the next one. Cheers.